Welcome back to 340 Paddler. Today I want to talk to you about painkillers. So the 340 is just about the longest athletic event most of us will ever participate in. And suffering is just kind of part of the drill. You're going to hurt. Many people will start feeling sore by the time they go into Lexington. So what can we do about it? Well, we're going to deal with over-the-counter pain relievers, the sort of thing that we use all the time. But there are some cautions that need to be dealt with. There's their proper uses that we need to deal with. So in terms of types, there's really two types that I'm going to deal with here. You have acetaminophen or Tylenol on one side. You have NSAIDs on the other, ibuprofen, aspirin, and naproxen. And really, because of this, I'm going to break it down frequently into acetaminophen versus NSAIDs. And they have different uses. There's specific forms that you want to use or specific times you want to use each one. Aspirin, ibuprofen, and Aleve all work for inflammation, whereas Tylenol does not. But if you have a fever, or arguably sometimes when you have pain, Tylenol can work much better. And when we look at these two classes, I'm using ibuprofen as an example versus acetaminophen, we see they work with pain differently. In terms of inflammation, we don't see a lot of inflammation suppression from Tylenol, but we do from ibuprofen, and there are toxicities and side effects, things that we're going to get into in a couple of minutes. So in terms of toxicity, you have to be careful. Many of these medications will appear elsewhere. For example, if you're taking an allergy medication or a sinus medication, oftentimes it will contain ibuprofen or acetaminophen. And if you're already taking two extra strength Tylenol, you don't want to add another 300 milligrams on top of that. That could create quite an issue. So make sure that you know what's in anything you're taking if you're going to be taking painkillers during the 340. And acetaminophen has some pretty nasty side effects if you start taking too much. By the way, it's surprisingly easy from what I've been told by ER nurses, etc., to actually overdose on acetaminophen and start seeing some issues. And the issues are going to be liver failure and kidney failure. And the kidney part is really worrisome because we're already putting a lot of stress on our kidneys by doing this continuous physical activity that's already causing problems with proteins in the blood, muscle breaking down, etc. And if you start having issues, usually they'll come in the form of nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain, discomfort, you become very pale, and then it goes from there, uh, usually focusing on the kidneys and the liver. Now, ibuprofen has problems too. For example, during the 340, ibuprofen will cause an upset stomach if you don't have food. And most of us don't have enough food at any time in our stomach during the 340 to actually take ibuprofen without causing stomach upset, nausea, or whatever else. Plus, overdoing it really can be an issue. So how do we use it properly? Well, I could go into all the dosing instructions, but really when it comes to the 340, many of the people that I've talked to will take, for example, in my case I use a leave, I'll take two the morning that we depart from Caw Point, maybe 6 a.m., and then I know it's 6 p.m., 6 a.m., 6 p.m. That's my cycle to take to naproxen, maybe one, maybe two, but I'm always on that cycle. And that way I don't second guess myself. You can do the same with ibuprofen or aspirin or whatever else. Although be careful of aspirin, you can overdo that as well and end up with some other significant issues. So in terms of Tylenol, make sure that you're not taking more than about six 500 milligram extra strength pills or about 3,000 total milligrams in a 24 hour period. 
that's important. Again, Tylenol can become toxic really, really quickly. And if I remember correctly from some conversations that were had on the forums, Tylenol is not highly recommended for our kind of event. Ibuprofen, naproxen, and aspirin all have their own dosing instructions. So make sure that you're keeping an eye on that. It's very easy when you're active for 24 hours to accidentally overdo things. So be cautious. And ultimately, be careful out there. Don't overdo it. Don't end up in a situation where you need to go to the hospital not because you absolutely flew to Jefferson City or whatever else, but because you've overdosed on painkillers. Trust me, the painkillers will not take care of everything during the race. And this video does not apply to prescriptions since there's a whole nother ballpark out there and I probably won't get into that as I'm not qualified. So this is 340 Paddler, hoping that you keep your paddle in the water.